All right, here it is, the final entry in the Roland Rex, your favorite song. It won't be this one. So here's where we turn the corner. Uh, I mean, and stand by whatever crazy fell out of my pie hole and every other reaction this morning. Okay. I did erase my other reaction to going blind because I had said hypocritically so that there were certain uh, artists that I just didn't want to play in those ballparks. So what it really meant is uh, a year ago, little eight months ago, <clears throat> cause I was in, we were in the studio, but it was empty. Uh, I don't know if I've, oh, I already, I, it, I erased it. So, okay. Uh, it doesn't matter. There's tons of videos from that period. So it's not, it's not something special. Uh, but I, I went back on something I said in there and I'm a hypocrite. I'm, you know, it turns out I might be cross addicted to sugar and diabetes and just not drugs and hard drugs and uh, consequences. <clears throat> Excuse me. I'm definitely addicted to smoking and other shit. So I have all my own problems. Being brave enough to do my own research isn't one of them. And uh, never believing the mainstream or authoritarian narrative is definitely a <clears throat> plus. But long story short, uh, it's been a bumpy road. And I am ready to move on from this subject with willfully saying, you know, whatever, whatever, win, lose, or draw, I don't care. I stand by the fact uh, that Gene should shut his fucking pie hole. But I am nobody, so it doesn't matter. I... I'm just willing to make videos about haters to generate clicks. I find that that might be a worthy purpose in life to, uh, well, okay, here's the difference. I want to know more about the Melvins. I find uh, Mr. Osborne a very interesting. Uh, it's the same way about this is why it's funny, and I can't believe it was Tool fans that put me in this position. Same thing about Maynard. I'm way more interested than ever perturbed, but why? Only a coward would never speak their mind. I mean, I'm sorry. I don't go along with the zombie horde. I don't agree with what the masses think on rare occasion, of course. On a rare occasion, they're, they're right. Sometimes they're right, but I still don't want to be part of it because I'd rather live on the extreme, uh, not extreme, but definitely on the subculture set. I think that's why I've uh, survived this long as a goofball, youth-filled idiot. Because, fuck it, I don't have to, I'm not trying to conform. She's trying to breathe air tomorrow, too. Now, this is a badass cover, and everything, I just want to say how great it is.
So I actually don't remember. I'm not going to bother with it now because this is where I'd rather put on the tinfoil hat back there. And uh, I'm not going to because here's the thing. I also believe if I'm going to um, <clears throat> openly be a... a, a perturbed by something that, say, the original artist was talking about. I also think being able to step back and just let it all go is going to have to be part of it, too. And I think this song connects to a bunch of other stuff, but I'll save that for a weird bonus someday because instead of <clears throat> finishing early, I'll save a little of the material that should go in this little series of uh, reactions for after I address the comments. So I have a follow-up to all this, but we'll probably wait and see what kind of love we generate and uh, go from there. Can't you see? Just for case of point, I'm pretty sure Night Goat's right there. Uh, I don't remember what I said, but it definitely goes back to the first time I brought the Melvins on the channel. I think I was trying to cope with super fans at the time, so I went to something where it's just obscure. Because here's the thing. When I find Nightwish, I get scared off by the humanist, uh, atheist side of the Nightwish army. Some of the other members of the Nightwish Army are still on the lounge right now. They just don't need to co-sign on this moment. Okay? I get that. But the problem is, 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 man, it's true. Hey, if anybody remembers the period where they fed me every one of the super humanistic, we're nothing but fucking space dust songs... That was a very interesting period, but I didn't know how to deal with, um, you know, trolling by a fandom. Now I realize that, well, it's shaky ground that all cult-like activity is built on. And it turns out I don't got to drink the Kool-Aid, so I've got nothing to be afraid of. And, you know, being self-aware that you're a cheeky mofo. Cause I think I'm going blind. And I know how it should be. You're much younger, can't you There's nothing left for you and I. Okay, I want you to, I want to share what I was thinking. Because holy shit, it is randomly generated thoughts of a personal nature. Maybe it is megalomania. But see, along with poking the bear, shaking the fucking hornet's nest, and fucking with fandoms one reaction at a time. Now, I've said that two or three times, so obviously that one's the first t-shirt. You know. 
Yeah. I think a AOA FIPO on the front. F. Apostrophe. F, F and F and with fandoms. One reaction at a time on the back. Yeah, that was probably my first shirt. Uh, coffee mug and middle finger to the world. So, uh, the, the line here, what happened? So I, uh, nothing more for you and I, I projected my yesterday's trip with my honey bunny onto these two creepy fucking kids looking, normalizing the two headed dog with joy. And I realized that there is nothing left for you and I, Ange and I, we're going to have to, we, we figured out what some of our content will be on other channel. Uh, we know what trip we're really on. We, we think we love and care for each other, uh, in a, our comments. I think the people realize that it's not a put on and it turns out the world has not broke us. And if we don't take care of our health, it won't matter what happens. We won't be able to do a damn thing about anything because they'll have broken us with everything. And uh, I sneak uh, wheat I game my celiac disease so I can eat things I shouldn't eat all the time and then eat things that kind of counteract it. That's, that's straight junky behavior. <clears throat> I am no longer going blind to some of the junky behavior that I still engage in. And if I'm going to influence even more people in even the weirdest ways from making them laugh to think, then I can't be... Well, every part of my hypocritical critical nature has to be called for its hypocrisy. The contradictions, the paradoxes, all of these things have to be addressed. And then outside of, well, yeah, I'm going to smoke the reefer till I drop. Um, I'm considering cooking of an alkaline fashion because I heard there's a rabbit hole that tells me if I exist with a pH level of alkaline nature, a lot of that shit doesn't grow. And I mean, I'm not going to go deep tinfoil hat on it because they don't, you're not just going blind. I think they, they put you down for this, but that one guy, you know, won the court case. I don't care what anybody says, won the court case when he claimed to have cured the biggies. The big C, the big uh, A, and IDS, the big, a lot of them. And his own, uh, you know, what was his own grandma or mother said? They're going to come get you. And they did. But then he won that case. Wow, that's, God, that's problematic. So, to keep us from uh, falling off the deep end and ever letting this whole choice that we've made to make this our life, right? This is what we're doing. Well, then it has to be wrapped with more than uh, shiny, shiny influence uh, one-liners and TikTok bullshit. It's got to be, we're, you know, the change, the everything, the reality. It's all got to gotta come together, keep us from going blind. All of that bullshit jumped into my head on that one line at that woman at one moment. No bullshit. Looking at the two-headed dog, it was about this thought. What happens is just a cascading series of thoughts that, that hit me. And I'm looking at it, and I'm like, the picture. Well, fuck that that's just some picture. Look at the joy that the artist drew on the, ah, the fucking two-headed dog is normal. Ha <laughs> ha. The frogs turned gay. Who cares? Then it turns out it was actually a hermaphroditic morph, morph mutation that was real. They cried over semantics until the study comes out. I realize one of the keys in life is fuck the people who want to argue over semantics. 
If I want to say the dog, the frog turned gay, it must be your complications with gay lifestyle. Because I don't give a fuck if the frogs are blowing each other. Who cares? What we care about is that an outside chemical source has literally mutated a fucking creature. Case in point, two-headed dog making a goddamn kid so happy. Who we are on fire today. Why? Because it has to be. Has to be. I didn't take the strikes and I ain't did all of this shit to roll over and let fandoms come in and give me the Kool-Aid. Fuck that. If you love the song and think Rollin' Wreck's your favorite shit, you know it's right down there. Listen to it a few times first. I want to go back to talking about the two-headed fucking puppy. We'll leave that line alone. We shouldn't. The fuck was the guy who wrote that song thinking there? Yes, I think I'm Kick ass. Going blind, Melvin's. This Houdini album is fantastic. Is this the one that Kurt Cobain worked on? Uh, I, I, nothing but cool respect. It's fucking awesome. Music aside, it turns out the inspiration for my insanity is even better. So, going blind, Melvin Houdini. Man, it turns out uh, Kiss is now problematic. Tied into a series of tinfoil hat realizations and realities. You know, like I said, I need... The, one of the best memes in the last few days for me is I'm, I'm going to need new conspiracies because all of mine came true. Kapow, because not a flat earther. I think we went to the moon, or at the very least, I'm pretty sure I don't have. Do I know about it's hollow and shouldn't be here? Do I know about all the rabbit holes? Do I know about Kubrick? Did... Of fucking course. Hours and hours and hours of purely entertaining conspiracy reading. But, high atmospheric aerosol spraying? Yeah, well, I took it up the fucking rear end for that for years. Because semantics. Oh, yeah, there's no chemtrails. There's no chemtrails. Fuck off. That one's provable. It's a done deal. If you say there's not, you're the liar. I'm right. You're wrong. You just have to switch to high aerosol you know, high altitude aerosol spraying, weather modification programs, and go down the real information superhighway and stop using CIA-based mind control terms to lock out logical thought. Bam! I've been waiting a fucking year to say shit like that. Y'all have a great day.